with three to go. We, I wonder if Kyle Larson and Ricky Ergot's crew are getting together. Remember, both of those cars, Chevrolets, that's a Toyota out front. Kyle Larson, the young phenom, making his way into the stock car racing after coming off of a very successful dirt career. Oh, a lot of heavy traffic here. These guys will probably run into this traffic here. We got two and a half laps to go. Four car moving to the inside. It's Kyle Larson. All over the back bumper of that 15 of John West Townley. Right. Hey, Rick, the Sugar Scott Motorsports car that Kyle Larson is driving is chassis 0 2. It won at Talladega just a year ago with Brandon McReynolds behind the wheel. They said after that race, they threw a cover over it. They had a lot of confidence in this young driver. They believe he's got what it takes to make the move on Townley and get a win in his first ever start here at Daytona International Speedway. It's going to have a lot to do with traffic because they're rapidly approaching about, about 10 cars in front of them. Right now, John West is only about 10 car lengths behind the very tail end of those lap cars. Less than two laps of racing to go, a lap and a half as they go down the back stretch. Your race leader, the yellow car, the number 15 of John West Townley, coming up on the slower lap traffic now. They'll have to move by the slower traffic and they move to the high side. This is what's going to mix it up right here. John West did a nice job getting by Ed Pompa and the 10 car. Look at them, they're side by side up in front of them here, coming down for the white flag. This is it, one lap to go. John West Townley takes the white flag. Kyle Larson, two car lengths behind on the final lap. Very anxious moments right now for John West. Which way is he going to go? They're too wide through. Now they go all the way up to the wall as they're working by the slower lap traffic. John West Townley trying to claim his first win in the Arca Racing Series. He gets by the slower lap traffic, and now he's going to move all the way down to the bottom of the racetrack. Nice move, it looked like he never had to break stride. You see Kyle Larson is able to get in front of Thomas Prater. Thomas had to make a late pit stop. Now it's one car length as they work through three and four and come out to the tri-oval. John West Townley after winning the pole here at Daytona, now being chased by Kyle Larson, coming into the tri-oval. John West Townley will win at Daytona. And the Benderinis finally get to victory lane in Daytona. The celebration will start right now for that whole Venturini family and team. They had four very, very strong cars here. Three of them had trouble. The fourth one goes to victory lane. Here comes fourth. It's going to be Frank Kimmel holding on for that spot. That's how far back that second pack was from the first. Sean Cor, a top five finishing position. Brennan Newberry, sixth in this race. And Mason Mingus back in seventh. Mark Thompson back in eighth. Kurzievsky in ninth. And Chad Boat in tenth. How about John West Townley? Going by a sputtering five of Bobby Gerhardt coming out of turn number four. Amazingly, John West Townley claims the victory.